The Pistons didn't expect Marquette big man Henry Ellenson to be available with the 18th pick. So when he was, they jumped on the opportunity to get this versatile seven footer. That versatility was a big part of why Detroit wanted him at all. And according to Ellenson, it will make him a great compliment to the Pistons current big man, Andre Drummond. I think that's what intrigues them is uh, my versatility, how they can use me offensively and uh, the different scenarios they can put me in. And so, uh, you know, I think I'll bring, uh, bring a lot to this team. It'll be a lot of fun playing with him and the young talent they have here at Detroit. And I think me and him would be fine for rebounds for sure. Now, if you didn't notice, the Pistons draftees were wearing bad boys hats for today's media conference. Ellenson said Stan Van Gundy suggested that they sport them, and the team's second-round pick, Michael Binaje, agrees it was a good call. And from the sounds of it, Binaje's mom will be happy to see him in that as well. My mom, uh, she grew up in Philly, so, you know, she was uh, close enough to Detroit to root for him, mm -hmm. and uh, she loved that physical play uh, growing up in Philly, so uh, she taught me a lot about the the bad boys, seeing a lot on DVD and YouTube and all that good stuff. But, uh, you know, it's just a mindset. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think uh, any team that approaches de defense like that is a successful defensive team. So uh, they're definitely a group of team to look up to. Now, Oakland point guard Kay Felder was still available when the Pistons' second round pick came up. It had a lot of people wondering why they went with Binaje instead of Felder. Stan Van Gundy had a pretty simple explanation. We had some that we liked in the draft, too. We just, when it came down to it, we had Michael ahead of the guys that were left on the board. But, but no, we liked, we liked a lot of guys. And, I mean, traditional point guards. I mean, you know, the kid at Indiana, Yogi Ferrell, who didn't go, we liked him, and we had him as a first-round pick. Mm -hmm. But we had him behind uh, Michael, and we liked Kay. But we had Kay a little bit behind him. So obviously it worked out pretty well for Felder. He's headed to the reigning champion Cleveland Cavaliers, not too far from home, and he gets to learn a thing or two from LeBron James. Hard to think of a better teacher.